if you have found overcoming the dragon ministry to be a source of strength and help to your spiritual walk in these trying times, why not show your support today? Just $1 a month from each of our listeners will help with operating costs and keep us on the air. The Prince of Darkness is bringing his full wrath in these last days, and Overcoming the Dragon Ministry stands ready to defend the gospel and overcome his lies with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Brother Skinner relentlessly marches forward through enemy lines, tearing down Satan's strongholds and setting the captives free. Your investment in this ministry, large or small, will be rewarded in this life and the life to come. God bless you. We're hearing tonight that uh, the stock market, Wall Street, doesn't like uncertainty. And so, as I was listening to the uh, the votes coming in tonight, I was I was looking at a a scenario, and I want to put it out there to you for my listeners to think about. If Donald Trump wins the presidency. Um, the elite are against him, right? The banks are against him. Um, if they were to sell off, you know, I don't know if there would be a complete crash of the stock market, but there certainly would be a tremendous hit. Now, it could be that they would use this as a means to try to crush Donald Trump um, and still get their agenda across to bring in their new world order. You see what I mean? See, in other words, even if they don't get Donald Trump, I mean, even if they don't get Hillary Clinton, who they could be, could, would be her puppet, um, Donald Trump's not so easily uh, played, you know what I mean? He's not so easily um, uh, manipulated. Um, but if you look at the scenario here with me for a moment, if Donald Trump wins, right, and the elite have no other way to, um, to you know, bring about their agenda, to, to bring chaos in the United States, and to bring in the New World Order. Well, what happens if, and right now they're saying that we are going to hold the House, the Republicans are going to hold the House. So if the Republicans hold the House and Donald Trump becomes president, then the elite don't have a way in anymore. You understand what I'm saying to you? The only other means they have is to sell off their stock, right? Do you see what I'm saying? And this could be why all the analysts right now are projecting a crash. And this could be the fulfillment of what is being talked about right now, where there's going to be the worst crash there's ever, or the, you know, the worst bubbles that there's ever been is going about to burst. I mean, everybody's saying that the, the market can't handle the weight of what's going on right now. Um, and they're talking about going into QE right now, quantitative easing, uh, I guess, the fourth time, for the fourth time. And, you know, we just keep on printing up money, printing up money, and just the debt's getting greater and greater. Eventually, it's going to collapse. Well, what if the incumbents, what if the, you know, what if the, um, the elite um, decide, hey, you know, what if these banks decide, you know what, we can still... We can still manipulate. We can still control. We can still bring about our agenda. You see the difference, people? Now, if Hillary Clinton was to become the president, she would just take orders from Council on Foreign Relations and just do what they tell her to do. You know, she would follow orders. And it would be probably a slower process, and it wouldn't be quite as messy. But if Donald Trump becomes president, they are left with no choice. So I guess what I'm trying to say is with God's people and the, all those that are voting for Trump right now, they think this could be a victory if Donald Trump wins. But they might wake up in the morning to a stock market crash or something to that effect. 
You understand what I'm saying here? Let me know if you think that this is insight. Let me know if, you, if you're on the same page here, if you think this is what could happen. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. God bless you.